You can definitely just tell like the quality isn't as good as if it were to be on like Minted or one of those sites. And hello everybody, it is Dingle here and welcome or welcome back to my channel. I hope you all are doing super super duper well and today guys, it's Vlogmas Day again. We're never sure what day it is. But we are doing Vlogmas every single weekday on this channel. So if you are new and you haven't hit the subscribe button yet, make sure you do so down below and let's get into it. I'm currently in the Walmart parking lot because I am picking up our Christmas cards. I'm really nervous because really long story quick, we wanted to go through one of just like the Christmas cards services like minted and stuff like that because we've seen how great the Christmas cards turn out in the past but when we went through them and we picked our card and we designed the whole thing and like switched out our picture like they make it really easy their site was a little slow and it was a little frustrating but they have the envelopes they let you put the address on the back of it they let you put like messages on the back like it's so all in one it was $90 for like 40 of them which I'm not complaining it's just a little higher than I thought it was going to be but it does make sense because they do it like all in one you know but if I didn't pay an extra $35 or so I wouldn't get them in time to send them out in time for Christmas <laughs> I didn't realize it was going to take that long so I almost like just shut down I was like we're not doing a Christmas card it's totally fine like and Jack was like no you really wanted to do a Christmas card so he picked me up and he took it upon himself to recreate and design our card in Photoshop and save it out as just a JPEG or a PNG and then we're just having them printed at Walmart it's definitely like a janky way to kind of go about it and it definitely took way longer than going through one of the sites but I'm so happy that he did that I was so ready to just throw in the towel and be like that's the point of going through these sites is you don't have to spend a lot of time but then Jack he just came through and we have a Christmas card but since we are getting it printed at Walmart and I'm pretty sure it's gonna turn out fine but we will see I also have to get some more household things like body wash and laundry detergent and rice very random the main thing right now is the Christmas card though so let's go get them and see how they turn out I'm kind of nervous about it what's your last name uh, Dingle D-I-N-G-L-E um they're five by seven they're like 40 Christmas cards thank you so much thank you <laughs> Alright friends, I got the goods. Let's see what we have here. Okay, great. I didn't check in the store I should have because I was like, I paid for envelopes to come with them so I didn't have to like hunt around for five by seven like envelopes. So I just got some plain envelopes with them. But I'm glad that that happened. Oh, it's cute. Oh my gosh. Here is the 2020 Mac and Jack Christmas card. The only thing, and this is, I mean, you get what you pay for, for sure. This was $40 total for all of the cards as well as the envelopes. And I would say the coloring of the photo did not come out like as we had designed it or as I had edited it. You can definitely just tell like the quality isn't as good as if it were to be on like Minted or one of those sites. I think it's overall super cute. It's on hard card stock. We also printed it with a solid green background to match trees all around it and I think the vibe is totally there and I'm happy with it. We will just know for next year to go through one of the sites like early on in December so that we we can get them on time but these totally work I would rather have these cards than not have a Christmas card this year because we've never done Christmas cards and I think this is super special and it was designed by Jack so I think that's really fun too also it is 18 degrees outside right now 18 1 8 I swear the universe heard me when I was like it's not even winter here and we're like in the most northern state of the United States besides Alaska and we are supposed to get I think eight 
to 10 inches of snow tonight and so I really needed to go pick these up at Walmart because today my goal is to address all of these cards and put stamps on them and like ready and able to send them out very soon in order to get them to everyone for Christmas which reminds me oh my gosh I almost did not do this this is such an advantage to vlogging and telling you guys what I'm doing throughout my day I almost did not go get stamps I have zero stamps left so I don't know where you go for stamps I, I don't think I've ever purchased stamps before. I've always been given stamps or my mom has leftover stamps or I don't really know where to get stamps. Do you just go to like USPS? There's a store 0.2 miles away, an eight minute walk. Where is that? I'm gonna drive. <laughs> Um, how much would it be for a hundred of them? A hundred stamps, yeah. It's what? Okay, I'll, I'll do a hundred. Thanks so much. Happy holidays. Stamps are so cute. Hmm. <laughs> My favorite part of the day. Seeing me? Yeah. <laughs> so cute. When are you getting a haircut? Never. Never. Okay. <laughs> my Clark Kent has oh, okay. So long it gets caught in my beard like Velcro. But guys, it is now 4.30 and we've had our afternoon coffee and I am just uploading a vlog now. I hadn't started editing it at all, so I had to like edit and upload it all in the same day. Thankfully, I had it filmed. There have been times where I've had to film, edit, and upload on the same day and that's like an actual full day process. But what I like to do during Vlogmas is actually start editing at least just the rough cut of the vlog the night before so that I have everything in there that I want as far as footage goes and it's all cut down and then all I have to do the next day is add in the spice add a little bit of spice like the intro and the transitions and the music and things like that and then it's exporting and thumbnail so it's not like not a lot of work but it's definitely less work because I already did the boring rough cut part the night before anyway I digress it's not quite dinner time yet it is Wednesday so we are going to get to takeout. I'm not sure what we're going to do or we'll go somewhere. Most likely takeout though because it's freezing outside. I can't think about stepping outside and like taking off my pajamas and my slippers. It does not sound fun for me but I'm still a little nibbly hungry and so there is one sole muffin left and I just realized when I was editing today's vlog that I never this is hard with one hand. I never showed you guys the footage of making these muffins and they're so good. They're a banana peanut butter chocolate chip muffin but they're gluten free as well as dairy free and they're still so good. They turned out so moist and like, oh my gosh, they're so freaking good. And I made 12 of them on Sunday and it's only Wednesday and I only have one left. They were supposed to be my easy grab and go type of afternoon snack because I lack those. Jack likes RX bars and he likes Boom Chicka Pop and things like that. I'm not a huge fan of those snacks. I don't really like gravitate towards them. So I made these as a healthy grab and go option or else I'll just like grab something that's either not as healthy or I don't have time to really eat anything. And Jack ended up eating the vast majority of my muffin. That reminded me that I never showed you guys how I made these. And so since they turned out so good, I'm gonna roll that footage right here. All right, friends, it's not quite dinner time, but it is, well, it's 5.45. But before we do dinner, I wanted to make these healthy, dairy-free, gluten-free, peanut butter banana muffins. I've been wanting to make these for a bit now. I got all the ingredients for them like a few weeks back and then I kept getting bananas and then we would eat more bananas than we were supposed to. It calls for like a cup of mashed up banana and they said that's like around three, but then whenever I get bananas, we end up eating more and then we're left with two and I'm like, gosh darn it, maybe next week. But regardless if I have a full cup of these bananas or not, we're just going to adjust the recipe accordingly. But this recipe is on my Pinterest board. I have that and like a bunch of recipes that you guys have seen me make. So make sure to head over there if you want to do this and try it yourself. But maybe watch and see how it turns out before you go ahead and try it yourself. Jack has poured me a mini glass of wine. So I thought baking wine and a little bit of a baking um, experiment would be fun for us to do together right now. For this recipe, you're going to need a dairy-free milk. We have almond milk. You need maple syrup 
syrup, obviously real maple syrup, like pure maple syrup is recommended, but we didn't have any of that. Peanut butter, oat flour, eggs, which is interesting because it says dairy free, but aren't eggs dairy? I, I'm unaware. Baking powder, vanilla extract, chocolate chips, cinnamon, and about a cup of ripe mashed up bananas. We're gonna see again how much these yield and then we'll go from there. So let's get into it. I'm gonna mash these in a bowl and then transfer it to a one cup measuring cup sort of thing to see like how close we are to a full cup of ripe banana. So satisfying. All right, let's see how much this yields. I can honestly, I think it's a cup. Gosh, it's getting everywhere. This is so bad. Yay, oh yay. Okay, we have almost exactly, oh my gosh, this is perfect. It's literally exactly a cup. Perfect. Okay, let's start adding things to a mixing bowl. One cup of mashed banana, three quarter cup of peanut butter, three quarters, two eggs, a quarter cup of maple syrup, two teaspoons of vanilla extract, two, half a tablespoon of dairy-free milk. It's a little more than half, but what could go wrong? Mix these together until smooth. I would call that pretty smooth. One cup of gluten-free oat flour. One teaspoon of baking powder, half a teaspoon of cinnamon, a quarter teaspoon of salt. Combine the wet ingredients with the dry ingredients. Fold in a third a cup of chocolate chips. Just fold it in. <laughs> Just Schitt's Creek reference for those of you who haven't watched it yet. Do a little taste test. Mm. Oh my god, yeah. Get a cupcake slash muffin tin. It says line all 12 of them, so we're just gonna go for that. We're gonna evenly divide our batter into these 12 muffin things. And now we're gonna place these in the oven for 20 to 25 minutes, a 350 degree oven. See you guys in 22 minutes. Alrighty. Oh, you can't see it. I've got dinner going right here as well. I'm gonna stick a fork in one of these bad boys and see if it comes out clean. Oh my gosh. I think it worked. Wow, I usually have to put it in. Like again, let me do a thicker one. Oh my gosh, yeah. Like a little cake came out here, but it's not like mushy cake. It's just like a piece of cake came out with my fork. Oh my gosh, yay. Okay, we're gonna let, okay, hi. We're gonna let this cool. Oh, like, and the smears are just the chocolate. We're gonna let these cool and then let's do a taste test and see what Jack thinks of them as well. I'm so excited. They smell incredible. All right, guys, Jack is here to do a taste test. You must get in the camera of the muffins. These are, I was gonna say gluten free. Oh man, they stuck a little bit too much. Oh no, actually that's fine. That's natural. Okay. I was gonna say gluten free, but I didn't realize that that oat flour isn't like automatically gluten free. So I just got like regular oat flour. So these technically aren't gluten free, but now I know for next time when we need more oat flour. Is oatmeal gluten free? That's what I'm saying. I don't think it is. The oat flour that I got, there's a gluten free version of it. Anyway. Interesting. Here is a muffin. Muffin. Ooh, look at that. Yum. First taste test can be like. The a... first taste test you need to do it without jelly or anything, right? Cheers. Cheers. Mmm. They're muffins. Mm-hmm. Mm. What do you think? That's I really tasty. like them. Mmm. Mm. Banana peanut butter, gluten-free, dairy-free, that's what they're supposed to be, but I accidentally got just regular oat flour. You getting a whole lot of a muffin, you're gonna eat all my muffins. No, I won't. Wait, don't eat the whole thing. Can I have a little bit? With butter on it. Two thumbs up from us. That's really good. Yeah, to make these a little even more healthier, obviously I would make. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> I would make. <laughs> Miss Allie just like did a little hop to get up and then like decided that did she you, didn't want to get up anymore. Did you want to come out? Oh, we're not laughing at you, Miss Allie. We're laughing with you. You're such a big guy. <laughs> no, <laughs> just... <laughs> Jack is always saying that Miss Allie is such a massive cat. She's such a big cat. She's just an average size animal. She's a lioness. 
Oh, hello friends. <laughs> I am getting all set up here with my YouTubes on the big screen. I've got my Christmas cards to stuff envelopes with and fill out and text people to ask them for their address, inevitably. And we're just gonna chill. I have 30 minutes, about 30 minutes, because Jack is gonna go on a short run and then we're gonna order Chinese food and I'm very excited you about that. Harassed me. I did not harass you. We're gonna order Chinese food and then did, baby do we have beers to enjoy for wine's day? We do not. <gasps> None? But we have a decoy wine. Oh, we do. We could just have wine for Wine's Day. It looks like we're having wine for Wine's Day. Royal alert for Ilya's Christmas present. We, we were gonna send him, well, part of the present and part of like the theme was a specific wine that we love to drink. And I went to ship it and I didn't know that shipping alcohol was illegal. So when I went to like put all of the components up on the FedEx counter for the lady to like pack and ship for me, she was like, you know that uh, shipping alcohol is a federal crime and the blah, blah, blah. I was like, Okay, I guess I won't be shipping alcohol then, so I was not trying to miss. Come on, everybody knows it's a federal crime. You even were shocked, baby, when I came back and told you I everybody knows couldn't it's a federal crime. send it. So I'm gonna catch up on a couple vlog misses, put something cozy on, and let's get to filling out these cards. And here is the, is it a haul? A Chinese food haul? A mukbang? A, I'm not really sure. We have crab rangoon. Jack can't have these because it has crab meat in it, but mm, my absolute favorite. Speak of the devil. Oh, did I lock it? I didn't know that I locked it. I'm sorry. I forgot that I locked it. You locked me up. I'm sorry. We have lo mein, beef lo mein, pan fried pork dumplings, hot and sour soup, and chicken wings. Oh, and Jack got a couple spring rolls as well, as well as the sauces. We're gonna tee up Queen's Gambit. I don't think I've talked about that on this vlog, but we are so freaking hooked on Queen's Gambit right now. It is so good. Like, it does live up to the hype. Normally when people are like hyping up shows, I'm just like, eh, it was okay. Like, obviously it was good, but like, most of the time it's like overhyped, you know, but the Queen's Gambit is just incredible. I like look forward to it every single night. So we're gonna tee up an episode of that, eat our Chinese food. But guys, that brings us to the end of today's Vlogmas. I hope you all enjoyed. Make sure to hit the subscribe button because we are uploading every single weekday as part of Vlogmas, <laughs> everyone. Do not forget to give this video a big old thumbs up and we will catch you in tomorrow's Vlogmas episode. We will catch you guys later, bye. Let's go outside, the snow is falling down And every child is having so much fun The snowman is twice the size as me With a smile as quirky as mine We're holding hands to keep each other warm While we stand and watch a choir perform And all the Christmas songs that